What's going on, boxing fans? It's your boy. It's Pool Counter Boxing. Coming back at you with another boxing video for the boxing heads and the boxing minds. Please smash that like button and subscribe for more hardcore boxing content. So, you know, we just found out that Carissa Shields was stripped by Ring Magazine. Now, we know Ring Magazine ain't shit, you know, because it's owned by Oscar De, De La Hoya. You know, Oscar De La Hoya was the golden boy, you know what I'm saying? He had all kinds of support from the black community. He was a great fighter. But, of course, in the end, America is a melting pot, you know what I'm saying? Everybody eventually goes back to their own culture, their own heritage, and whatever times we grew up in, we are slaves you know, to that mindset. And Oscar De La Hoya is no different. So the way he moves at Golden Boy and the way he controls Ring Magazine is atrocious. But we got Carissa Shields back. We're going to lose. You see, in America, America is a matrix. It's a matrix that will lure, attract, persuade, or appeal to all minorities better self. Then... When the status quo feels threatened by the images or perception of in any sports, politics, or media, that's when you see the old that old uh, racism come out, right? By WS, the old whiteness, you know, because they feel threatened. You know, say we see that old conehead America come out, that burn Tulsa and uh, Rosewood to the ground, you know, we, it comes out overtly. And that when that, when all that melting pot BS we saw on Schoolhouse Rock gets burned to the ground, it's the hill with Schoolhouse Rock, it's the hill with Sesame Street, it's the hill with different strokes, you know what I'm saying? All that is just social engineering anyway, until the race soldiers, you know, can uh, figure out how to put COVID-19, you know what I'm saying, in Popeye's chicken. So Carissa Shields is just, you know, too great of an athlete, to tell you the truth. Her only problem is that she's too good, you know what I'm saying? You know, she wasn't raised on, on to be on guard against all this kind of, uh, you know what I'm saying, WS gatekeepership, you know. Her only problem is that, you know, she dominated in boxing. You know, she's undisputed in two weight classes. But if they don't stop her, she's going to be dominant in eight weight classes. She's going to be undisputed in eight weight classes. So they got to slow her down. They got to do something to get her beat. And she's so dominant that she's embarrassing, you know what I'm saying, the status quo. You know what I'm saying? She's embarrassing white society because she's beating she's a young black female who demonstrates you know how superior her genetics is and she's showing the separation of that superiority by beating you know say all the other you know races easily and they can't stand it you know what i'm saying and she's not you know, she, she, she's happy to be who she is, a black female. You know what I'm saying? She's confident. You know what I'm saying? She don't have none of the, um, you know, she don't have none of the, you know, intimidation factor because, you know, she wasn't raised under, you know, she didn't see the racism that the older generation grew up with. So she believes in herself. And they don't like that because, you know, there's nobody to oppose her rising up through the ranks. So that means she can go to any other weights and dis and defeat them. She can defeat any white hope candidate like Katie Taylor. They're going to keep her far away from Carissa Shields, you know, as she moves up. They're going to keep her far away because they understand that the importance of social engineering, right? It's important to have white people on the top of black people, right? That's why Canelo and Triple G are exempt from fighting a certain demograph, 
unless they are brought unless they are brought and paid for, you know, that's the only way. You know, like Jacobs, you know what I'm saying? You know, he he you know, wouldn't you sell out, you know what I'm saying, wouldn't you take a dive for twelve million dollars if you didn't have to work anymore, if you you know what I'm saying? If all your bills could get paid and you get to live lavish for the rest of your life, wouldn't you lay down? You know, so wouldn't Jamal Charlo take a dive for $20 million? Not right now, but maybe later when he needs it. You know what I'm saying? To pad that bank account, you know what I'm saying? So he can live in a mansion for the rest of his life and take care of his generational wealth. You know what I'm saying? Wouldn't David Benavidez take a dive for 15 to $12 million? You know what I'm saying? To make Triple G or Canelo look like the greatest that ever lived. Wouldn't you take a dime for twenty million dollars? Some of you would take a dime for a hundred and fifty dollars. You know. So since women boxing isn't a major attraction, the co the coneheads don't feel like they have to control, you know, women boxing as much as they do the men's boxing because men boxing is more high profile. And so they don't feel as threatened by Carisha Shields as they do, let's say, you know, a Terrence Crawford or Errol Spitz Jr. or Floyd Mayweather, somebody who's getting, you know, world national attention for for being dominant. They cannot afford to have black people look superior in America. They don't want it. They want Tyson Fury to be American. They want Usyk to be American. You know what I'm saying? They want anybody, you know what I'm saying, besides, you know, Deontay Wilder. That's why they did him in. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't believe that. But social engineering is all around us. You know, it's in our sports. It's in our media. You know what I'm saying? It's in everything we do because that is what controls the next generation. You know, why do you think you know, their children feel that they can do anything, that they can, you know what I'm saying, they can conquer the world. You know what I'm saying? It's all due to what they see and learn in the environment, right? So WS can't have Carissa Shears not be, be an undisputed champion eight, in eight weight divisions because that would inspire other little black girls, you know what I'm saying, to grow up to be dominant too, to be want to be Carissa Shields. You know what I'm saying? To want to walk like her. You know what I'm saying? Be confident in her beauty. You know what I'm saying? To stand up against what's wrong and support her black brothers. They, and that's really the most egregious part is the way she supports her black fighters. You know what I'm saying? And she calls it like it is. You know, speaking out about Canelo not stepping up. Speaking up about Triple G not stepping up. Calling out, you know what I'm saying, the protected fighters. You know what I'm saying? That was really why she got stripped. You know what I'm saying? Because Oscar De La Hoya, he owns, ring, you know, Ring Magazine. So when she spoke out against Canelo, that was him staying on code to strip Carissa Shields. And we all know this. But, you know, the people on the outside and the casuals don't know. You know, Floyd could have been, you know, a three-time undisputed champion, but he went for the money and not the lumps, you know. You know, look at what Ring Magazine did to Devin Haney. You know, they stripped him too. You know, they stripped, you know what I'm saying, ESPN took Devin Haney off the uh, top 10 list. You know, and he and Ring Magazine stripped both of those guys, both of them, Carissa and Devin Haney. Why? Because they're too good. Nobody wants, well, I ain't going to say nobody. I'm going to say the Coneheads do not want, you know what I'm saying, the black fighter to represent what's dominant in a combat sport. Why do you think they created a whole different combat sport, which is still dominated by black fighters, MMA? You know what I'm saying? But they're going to they're gonna throw, you know what I'm saying, they're going to make sure that MMA is represented by white champions because they understand the imagery. And if blacks took over that, they would create another forum so at least they could have some kind of white representation as dominant 
is a dominant factor. You know, Triple G was able to hold on to his belts for two, three years without having to fight anybody, you know, say significant. So they stripped Carissa Shields after saying she was inactive at one four, at 154, so they stripped her of that title, right? But Triple G, Canelo, they can hold on to belts and they can abandon belts, get them back. It doesn't matter because they understand the importance of that social engineering. What people see when they grow up, that's what they want to be. So they must have people in place to have some kind of representation so people, you know, will feel a certain, feel a certain kind of confidence about the dominance in society. Okay? And because they understand the importance of social engineering, you know, Canelo and Triple G can change boxing tradition. You know, they can get special belts. You know, Triple G didn't even need a special belt to keep from fighting black and Mexican fighters. You know, the best anyway. You know, it took Demetrius Bivol, you know what I'm saying, an average white fighter with average skills to expose Canelo. You know, Triple G has been exposed for years, but the media keeps celebrating them like they're the best. You know what I'm saying? They keep putting their names up in lights and keeping them away from from danger. So the whole thing, the whole thing is hypocrisy. You know, they want to slow down Carisha Shields because it's too easy for her. You know, and they can't do anything to beat her in the ring, so they're going to beat her in the court of public opinion, just like they do all our fighters, just like they do the black man image, you know what I'm saying, in America, period. You know, when you have media saying that, you know, ignoring your accomplishment, ignoring your accolades, you know what I'm saying, people don't see you because they're not going to celebrate you. But when a Lomachenko, you know what I'm saying, does does something, you know, saying they're going to push him up because that's the representation that they want. And the sad thing is we have a lot of sellouts. We have a lot of sellouts because they want to be in on the money, right? They can't, they got to go against anything, any black excellence because the money is on the opposite side. You know, how many Mexican, how many Mexican fans would you have on the air if you support Canelo? How many white fans would you have if you support Triple G? How many white fans or race fans, we should say, if you go against the PBC? You know what I'm saying? So black people always, you know, we've always had black people that sold out, you know what I'm saying, and not looked at the truth. You know what I'm saying? I always try to gaslight, you know what I'm saying, the race issue. And we see it every day, even when they, they slap Carissa Shields in the face, you know, celebrate her loss in MMA, you know what I'm saying, like she took a loss in boxing, you know what I'm saying? They got to get it where they can, you know what I'm saying, because they can't beat her in boxing. They got to wait a few more years for this girl to get old, but she's young and they know they got a problem. So all their hopes is in, in this uh, Marshall lady, you know what I'm saying? Look for some some underhandedness. You know what I'm saying? Either they're gonna, you know, let her put something at put brass knuckles in her gloves. They're gonna do something. Because it's important to make sure that white supremacy, you know what I'm saying, reigns over black people, no matter what it is. That's the key to the mindset of their power. And I don't care who disliked this message. It is what it is. This has been Pool Counter Boxing. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more hardcore boxing content.